Hey everybody, welcome back to Blue Roy Movies. This morning we've got some additions to the library. Uh, not a big amount the last couple of weeks. Nice little stack though. We've got some subscriber mail. Uh, we've got some gifts from a good friend Larry. And some stuff I've picked up myself. First of all, I'll start off with a subscriber mail. Uh, friend of the channel, Ellery Fiddler. He reached out to me recently, said he'd like to send me something, which totally isn't necessary at all. It's not why I do this. Uh, just the lovely comments I received from Ellery and the rest of you guys make it all worthwhile. I've not been blessed with an abundance of self-confidence ever in my life. So to read some of the comments that you guys give me and how much you enjoy the channel and the content and how you look forward to it every week is really heartwarming and keeps me going and keeps me making one to make these videos to be honest but yeah Ellery, Ellery reached out to me said he'd like to send me something which very much appreciated like I said absolutely no need but thank you very much and he sent me something through Amazon a couple of days ago and I have a note with it which was lovely as well uh, I shall read it all to you. Hi Roy, I hope you enjoy this film. I think that Mads is always watchable. He's Mads Mikkelsen, and yep, I totally agree. Such a brilliant actor. I think my favourite of his would be The Hunt, where he's wrongly accused of being a paedophile and just how everybody turns against him and he's done absolutely nothing wrong, poor guy. Which is a great film. Uh, let me know what you think. I certainly will. Uh, feel free to give it away if you have seen it or don't like it. Well, I haven't seen it and I won't give it away because as it's a gift from you, Ellery, it's be something that I keep in the collection forever. Uh, take care from Ellery Fiddler. And what Ellery has kindly purchased for me is The Promised Land with Mads Mikkelsen. I've never seen this film. I've heard about it and reading up about it. it looks like a western type of film which sounds right up my street and i think it's going to be one that i really enjoy uh, it's got some great reviews so i'm sure i'm going to like this let's open it up and have a look inside some nice artwork on the disc so yeah, once again, Ellery, thanks very much. Like I say, don't need to do it. I know I keep repeating myself, but absolutely blinding, mate. Over the moon and truly humbled that somebody would think about me like that and go out of the way to send me something like that. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to keep that note inside there. And for ever, I watch this film. I'll always open it up and remember that's from Ellery. Ellery, blinding champion man. Uh, next couple, uh, both from my friend Larry, regular visit viewers of the channel will know Larry always looks after me and no exception again. Wonderful. Thank you, mate. Uh, first one, he sent me a network release. Carol Reed's Odd Man Out. Uh, now, uh, the third man, I've watched Carol Reed. Brilliant, brilliant film. I think he directed the Oliver... 60s musical if i'm thinking rightly off the top of my head got a great cast uh james mason robert newton i think james mason very underappreciated actor i really like his stuff that i've seen uh, i think it's set in ireland during the troubles if i'm not mistaken so i'm pretty sure i'm going to really like that one too i'm not sure what year this is from no it says 1972 that's a documentary I'm guessing it's going to be like sort of early 60s. That's Odd Man Out, Carol Reed. Going to be right up my street, that one. Thank you, Larry. Uh, as Larry knows, I'm a big fan of the television series Minder of the 70s and 80s. And I think it went into the early 90s, to be honest. Uh, I collect all things to do with Dennis Waterman and Arthur Daly. And he's come up with another one for me. A TV series on the up. I'd never ever heard of this. Starring Dennis. Uh, Joan Sims from the Carry On films. I think there's a 
two series altogether. Uh, Sam Kelly, I think that guy is. I don't recognise him. At first, I thought that was Tim, Tra Tim, Tim Brooke Taylor when I first had a glance, but it's not. It looks a bit like him. I think it's sort of a domestic sitcom, which uh, British ones are always good. They're always well written. So I'll get into that, and I think I'll enjoy that. Yeah, blinded again. Thank you very much, Larry. Much appreciated. You know that, mate. Next up, I've got a charity shop pickup. I think it cost me 50p, a film I've never seen. Kira Knightley, who I've always liked. Mickey Rourke, always think what happened to that fresh, good looking chap he was when he first burst onto the scene, how he morphed into what he looks like now. Quite incredible, really. I think this is just a trashy action film, which I'm down for some of them. Especially these ladies led action films. For some reason, I really like them. Yeah, really enjoy them. Yeah, so looking forward to watching that. That should be good. Anybody seen that? Let me know what it's like. Uh, next one, I took a few titles from my dad's collection a couple of weeks ago. If you watch that one, you'll know all about it. I went back and I got one more. Uh, the Negotiator, a film I haven't seen for a long time, but I remember enjoying. Samuel L. Jackson, always marvellous. Kevin Spacey, great actor. Uh, I know he's not been the most savoury character of recent years, but wonderful, wonderful actor. And that's a great film. I look forward to re-watching that. Uh, next up was a film I heard about on Facebook. I'd never heard of it. I think it's Payroll, again, another early 60s film. A heist movie, which is right up my alley. But the reason I ordered this, and I ordered it from CEX, is because I was reading it, and it was some of the scenes uh, shot in my hometown of Rugby Warwickshire, and which, having I've never heard of the film, quite surprised me. So I'll have a look, see if I recognise anything, see how much it's changed. And I think it's about a this is about a bungled heist on a wages payroll in a firm. So yeah, it should be really good. Quite who's in it? Nobody I'd never heard of it really. Uh Michael Craig, Francois Prevost, uh Billy Whitelaw, I know, wasn't she the nanny in the original Omen? And I think she was the mother, the Mrs. Craig in the nineteen nineties Craig films. And I'll tell you what, never heard of this and I ordered it from CX, I think about last Thursday or something. And on the Friday, the next day, in the afternoon, it was on Channel 4. Can you believe that? Just the way it goes, isn't it? Yeah, payroll. Really looking forward to watching that. Uh, and the last two are both from the same director. Now, I won these on eBay. I think I paid about £6 for the pair of them, which a fantastic price, because I think they go for a lot more than that normally. Uh, both from Bong Joon-ho, the director of the Fantastic Parasite. Uh, one I've seen before, which is Memories of Murder. Now, I used to have this on DVD. This is like a police de detective film. Really good story. One keeps you on the edge of the seat. I used to have this on DVD. And before the Blu-ray came out, the DVD was incredible, hard to find. And quite valuable i think i traded the dvd in for about 16 pound which was a lot at that time in cex with the mindset that one day i'd get this on blu-ray and that ship has finally come in for me so really really pleased to have that now back in the collection on blu-ray on a better quality and one that i'll be watching again very shortly memories of murder i'm sure if you've seen that you'll agree it's a very very good detective type film wonderful stuff uh, and the next one from Bong Joon-ho again a film I've never seen and know little about uh, remind myself of the title because it's quite an odd one Barking Dead Barking Dead Barking Dogs Never Die well, let's read the blurb on the back an out of work college lecturer Lee Sung Jae becomes so annoyed by the yapping dogs at his apartment complex that he decides to take drastic action a bold and confident debut which already displays many of the themes and preoccupations that make Bong Joon-ho's masterful later films. So this is 
Bong Joon Ho's first film, uh, and I can imagine the way he's going to take these dogs out is going to be quite eventful because he's quite a, t a twisted director. If you've seen any of his films, I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, now, both these films, you see on the back, there's no barcode on them, so I don't think they were released individually. I'm guessing they come out of this double set, and it used to have a slip box over the pair of them, but for £6, I'm not going to argue with that. Great additions to the library. Well, that's it for the last couple of weeks, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'd like to thank... Ellery once again, uh, I'd like to thank Martin, I'd like to thank my dad, I'd like to thank my wife, I'd like to thank my family, I'd like to thank my agent, my man, oh shut up, anyway that's it, all take care, have a nice day and goodbye.